Um, so I was immediately previously working for the International Cricket Council, so I was there for four and a half, almost five years, um, working based in London, but on a regional development programme, supporting the Ireland's, the Scotland's, the Netherlands, um, trying to drive an increased participation in cricket, but also supporting them on their performance and I guess becoming better organisations and um, more aligned to national strategies, national governments. Uh, previous to that, I was working for the UK for UK Sport. Did a comment with the Commonwealth Secretariat, and I guess my grounding was with the Sport Trust. So working a lot with uh, schools and the School Sport Partnership Network that existed back then, um, driving participation and, and getting more young people involved in, um, in in sport and physical activity. It's a, it's a good point and I think the opportunity in sport is, is huge. I mean, um, I've been fortunate to work for a charity, a governing body, an international federation, an intergovernmental organisation. Previous to that I was working for Hewlett Packard for a few years. So I think probably not to be too pressured. Don't pressurise yourself too much. I think focus on what you're doing at the time. Try not to plan too far ahead. I've never planned particularly far ahead and just taken the opportunities when they've come. So enjoy the moment, enjoy kind of what you're doing and, and perhaps focus on that initially um, and then just let the rest kind of take care of itself. Um, good question. I think some of the unique challenges in sport are that um, every every governing body, every federation, every charity, every every sort of I guess government organised is very different, um, and they're very sm a lot of uh, small businesses. So therefore, sometimes the opportunity isn't to stay with the same sport or the same organisation for for that long. So actually, a lot of my positions I've, I've moved on after sort of three, four, five, six years somewhere in there. So. I think it's, it's probably recognising that the opportunity might not be still within the same organisation as much as you love working for them and I've worked for some great people and some great organisations. So that's probably quite unique that you know there's a lot of sport, small, smaller organisations in sport. Probably secondly, um, you know, like you're at the event here, you know, the sports summit, it's, it's amazing how you sort of see people recycling themselves and, and sort of re-engineering themselves and they're coming back from um, when I was work, started out working in sports sort of 13, 15 years ago and, and you're sort of seeing them in different roles. So I think that's pretty unique in an, in an environment. But I guess, you know, if you're working in retail, if you're working in fashion, if you're working wherever else, you probably see the same thing. So maybe you just think it's unique because, because we're talking sport. Um, single piece of advice, I think, I think key part really, and this sounds really simple, but um, is to listen. Um, I think so often we currently going through a kind of strategy review at England Golf. I think um, when I was at the ICC, we were making changes to funding policies, we were making changes to the way we were operating. But sometimes we forget to listen and to listen to the, to the network, the people that are actually on the ground delivering and, and supporting that network of growth, whether it's cricket, whether it's golf for me, whether it's sport gener generally. I think sometimes we forget to listen. Good question. I'm finding that out as I go along. Um, I think primarily it's it's to um, it's to give vision. It's it's about inspiring um, people. What does that mean? It means being positive. It means being um, being focused on what we're trying to do. I think it's very easy to get lost in detail, but if we have a very clear focus about what we're trying to achieve and we're ambitious about getting there, I think you can bring people with you on that journey and inspire them to connect to that that vision, that strategy that we're trying to position ourselves.